All right, you guys, uh, just to let y'all know, y'all said stop smoking the cigars. So we got the cigar expert right here. She gonna take the last two that I got and uh, she can have them because they stink. Say it again. Maduro. So we gonna cut the cigar for her too. No. Well, I mean, that, that way that... Well, you have to cut it. Yeah, you gotta cut it. You can't smoke it like that. My bad, y'all. It's a damn mess in here. Uh, need to buy a new watch, too. They're making fun of my watch. Here, let's see. I'm, Austin's no expert at this, but let's see. This is nice. Now... Pretty email. <laughs> no, not like that. No. <laughs> no, that's not appropriate for the channel. Mm. Uh oh, do it again. <laughs> All right, y'all. See, I'll be seeing more of that later on. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm fully dressed now, as you can see. And uh, Cristal recommended me a place to get chicken at, but I don't think I want chicken anymore. So what I'm about to do is, I'm. They have a Brazilian steakhouse down the street. I'm about to go over there. And we gon we we gon we gonna put the test on them. I'm gonna go in there, I'm not gonna speak no English. I'm gonna go in there and do straight Portuguese. And I'm gonna see how much of a Brazilian steakhouse this really is. Let's see what happens. I was able to find my allergy medicine. I went to that steakhouse and I thought I was gonna go in there speaking Portuguese, but then I forgot. Uh, they don't know there was not a Brazilian or any any Portuguese speaking person in sight, so it didn't work out the way I thought. But I found Clarinase, which is Claritin D of Africa, from what I seen. But he's when I bought it, he's like, it's going out of it's going out of uh, it's going out of stock everywhere. Every damn allergy medicine I find, there's always a catch. But I'm gonna make it last, so I bought two boxes. This works perfectly, but as he said, they're going out of stock, so can't win on that end. You guys can see that these roads here are paved. Compa compared to Tanzania, everything is pretty much dirt. Uh, there's dirt everywhere, like sand everywhere, and we call it sand. Versus here, uh, this looks kind of similar to a city in America based off all the cars you see. It seems like there's less of a wealth, a wealth gap here than it is in Tanzania. They even had Domino's Pizza. They had Cold Stone Ice Cream. They had a, they had a bunch of brands uh, that you could recognize if you're coming from the United States or I guess anywhere in the West. Uh, you see, they everything is pretty developed out here. So I think Tanzania might be 30 years behind now. But it's not as bad as Cambodia. Cambodia is about 70 years. I think they still live in 1970 with cell phones. They just got smartphones in, the, in 1970 from what it looks like infrastructure wise. Earlier, those those buses, I, I walked past those buses right there earlier, and they had subwoofers playing music while the bus was packed with people. Yeah. All right, y'all. So I'm at the mall right now, looking for a uh, a bad towel. So I've been walking around. I need to buy a jacket because it's. It's so cool to the point where I have goosebumps right now. So it's not, it's, it's definitely a shock from coming from Tanzania where it was super, super hot. But uh, I'm in a mall right now and I'm looking for a bad towel. And I guess I'll just look at some other stores, see what else I can find, but. Fuck. Let y'all see. All 
right, y'all. So now I'm in a uh, store that's kind of similar to like a Target or a Walmart. And it's super packed up here right now. Uh, I want to say this too. They have a lot of recognizable brands in Kenya. That's a, it's damn near like being in a first world. Oh my God. It's damn near like being in a first world country. It's like, I think, I think Kenya's like second world though, right? But anyway. For example, I want to get some uh, mouthwash. They got Listerine. I'm going to show you a couple more brands they got too. I'm going to get these. They got, uh, they got Samsung and shit. Now here they got the bad towels, so we're gonna go ahead and get let me get two bad towels. Uh yeah no, we got black folks, we gotta get the white ones. That way we can see how dirty we was when we took a shower. <laughs> yeah. You gotta see how dirty we was when we took that shower though. Anyway, so even when it comes to like washing detergent, they got the same kind of washing detergent that we had back home. Well, Asian chicks looking good out here, ain't they? So yeah, we gonna get uh, we gonna go ahead and go off in there. I know some. Let me show you what the rest of the grocery store look like. Cause I know some people want to see what the grocery store looks like. So it looks just like a regular Target or Walmart. So this the city is way more developed uh, compared to coming from Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. So yeah, y'all stay tuned. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and changed clothes because I was going to go out in a t-shirt, but I was like, fuck that man, I'm tired of wearing t-shirts. I just got, what is it, three shirts tailor-made and I'm going to just wear my new stuff because I love my perfectly made shirts. Shout out to PJ again because he made my shirts so nice. But of course, as you as I just said, hold on. As I just said, I got on a white shirt that he made. And I got I got on the same jeans. I just swapped the uh shoes out for uh these dark brown Chelsea boots. And it might be nighttime, but I think that the shades are going to go perfect with it. Crystal says she don't think I'm doing too much by doing it, so. Is that just going? But now, hold on. <laughs> but now, you can see, that's the look of the day right there. So we're about to go to this place called Milan. And uh, we're going to see what it's looking like. The quality is going to change a little bit because I'm not bringing my little strap over bag. It's going to mess up my whole outfit. So I'm carrying as little stuff as I can. So I'm going to record on my phone so the camera quality might look a little different. <laughs> 